While the human drama of the Japanese disaster is clear, more complicated is the science of the nuclear threat. What is happening inside those damaged reactors? Lisa Johnson has been following this story since it started and she joins me live. Now, Lisa? Well, Gloria, the story does keep changing. You mentioned the fire at one of these reactors. I've been checking the latest updates and we still don't yet know what that's doing to radiation levels there. But the biggest change in the past 24 hours has to do with the third explosion that we told you about last night. That set off a whole new wave of concern and I'll show you why. We'd already seen explosions at two of the other reactors on that site, but this was at a third reactor called Unit 2. The earlier explosions had left the primary containment vessels around the other reactors intact. But at Unit 2, measurements suggest there has been some kind of leak. That's because after the blast, at about 9 our time last night, there was a high dose of radiation measured at the reactor site. That's what triggered a lot of the panic in Japan and elsewhere. But this is key. The UN's nuclear agency says that high radiation leak has not continued. Since last night, the radiation exposure at the reactors continued to drop from that high dose of 400 millisieverts per hour down to less than one millisievert this morning. To put these numbers in context, the latest reading at the nuclear plant is a bit more than a chest x-ray, but less than you'd get from a CT scan. So what's the worst case scenario now? The people in charge are still trying to avoid a meltdown. But inside the reactor, two things are making that difficult. First, they're trying to cool down the nuclear fuel rods inside using seawater, but the water levels keep falling, so the rods are heating up. Second, the metal casings around each rod are corroding, making it possible the nuclear fuel will fall to the base of the reactor and get so hot it melts. That's what's called a meltdown. So Lisa, what exactly does meltdown mean? Well, a meltdown, especially combined with a leak, is a problem because once that radioactive fuel melts, it becomes liquid or even a gas, and it's going to be harder to contain. But let me be clear, a meltdown, it's a scary word, but it does not mean a nuclear explosion like Chernobyl. In fact, I've talked to a physicist familiar with this kind of reactor, and he doesn't think a nuclear explosion inside the core of the reactor is even possible at this point, because he says it doesn't look like the fuel has the energy left to cause the chain reaction that would be necessary to make that happen. Gloria? All right, thanks for that.